guys, happy Girls in Aviation Day 2020. My name is Abby Welch. I'm a member of Women in Aviation International and a board member of the Capital Region Chapter located right here in Northern Virginia. I'm also a certified flight instructor and today I'm gonna to walk you around a Cessna 172 and show you the major parts of an airplane. You can also follow along in your Aviation for Girls magazine that talks about these 10 major parts. The first item we have on our aircraft is our propeller. So once we start up the aircraft today, it's going to move around and produce thrust that'll move us through the air. During our pre-flight, we're making sure that the propeller is nice and sturdy and it can do its job during our flight. If you look towards the ground, we have our three tires, also known as our landing gear. This aircraft is called a tricycle type landing gear. And our main tires, the ones at the back, have brakes that allow us to brake while on the ground and also steer the airplane while on the ground. On this aircraft, we have our two wings, also known as airfoils. These wings produce lift throughout our flight. During our pre-flight, we're making sure that there are no dents, bruises, or bumps. Again, so it can perform its job during our flight. On the back side of our wing, we have one of our primary control surfaces. This is called our aileron. You can see I move it up and down, and it's controlled with the yoke inside the cockpit. This allows us to roll our airplane side to side throughout our flight. Following me along here, we have our fuselage, or the main body of the airplane. During our pre-flight, we're making sure that all our screws, bolts, and rivets are in their correct position for our flight. Coming to the empennage, the back part of our aircraft, we have our horizontal stabilizer and our vertical stabilizer. On the horizontal stabilizer, we have another one of our primary control surfaces, which is our elevator. We control this with our yoke inside the aircraft and allows us to control the pitch of the aircraft. Again, on the vertical stabilizer, we also have our rudder, which is our last primary control surface. This rudder, as you can see, moves back and forth and is controlled with the rudder pedals inside the cockpit as well. If you follow me around here, we have a sec secondary control surface, which is our flaps. We lower these flaps from inside the cockpit to different degrees, and they produce different amount of lift and drag that we use for takeoff and landing throughout our flight. Finally, if you follow me inside, we have our cockpit. This cockpit is where all our flight instruments are located. It's where we sit as the pilot to control the airplane. Now that we're inside our cockpit, we're gonna take a look at a few more things. We have our yoke, which is like our steering wheel. Moving it side to side controls our ailerons, which allow us to roll the aircraft side to side. Pulling back and pushing forward on our yoke, this controls our elevator, which allows us to control the pitch of the aircraft. Looking down towards the ground, you can see our rudder pedals. Moving side to side on the ground, the rudder pedals allow me to steer the aircraft and brake using the top part of the rudder pedals. However, in the air, the rudder pedals control the rudder, which yaw the aircraft's nose side to side. Coming back up, we have our flight instruments. We have our airspeed indicator, our attitude indicator, our altimeter, torn coordinator, heading indicator, vertical speed indicator, magnetic compass. These items, these flight instruments, along with several others, are all items that we learned during our primary flight training. So again, it was a quick walkthrough of a Cessna 172, which is a typical training aircraft we used for flight instruction. Thanks again, everyone. Have a safe and fun Girls in Aviation Day 2020, and happy flying.